how to do email outreach properly for your SMMA social media marketing agency in 2020. Here's the thing guys, um, a lot of the people that teach this, they're doing, they're teaching it exactly right. But here's the thing, my method, it's not completely original. Um, in it's a, it's featured in a lot of the paid courses, but I also combine certain aspects from, you know, different variations of these methods uh, to one where I found to be working the best for me. Right now, my email sequencing open rate is around 65 to 70% with the one I tested previously. And the reply for that is around um, three to 5%. I haven't finished enrolling every single contact into the uh, sequence just yet. Only about, um, I'd say, like 20 contacts have been have gone through the whole sequence. So I will be releasing the results for that in my Instagram. So highly recommend you guys follow me on there as well. It's at real boy I'll link it down below. But anyways, let's get into it. I'm also split testing variations of um, email sequences to see which one yields the best result. But in this video, I'll be going over the exact blueprint guide on how you can get started and how you can start testing your own sequences for yourself. So before you start anything, I highly recommend getting either Active Campaign or HubSpot or any sort of email sequencing automation tool. Just because if you send out emails uh, manually, it's gonna be way too long and you won't be able to hit the right amount of volumes to generate a desired result. So if you want to do email sequencing, you need to, need to, need to automate this. I cannot stress that enough. Just a quick side note, down below I have um, linked a document for an email template that I used previously. It's the one that I used to get the 65% open rate and also the roughly 3 to 5% reply rate as well. It's not the best template, I'm not going to lie, my new one is just mind-blowing. Like Right now, on the first email, the reply rate is 10%, bearing in mind I've only enlisted 10, uh, 20 contacts into it, but it's ridiculous the the one that i'm testing in this split test variation is fantastic i'm not going to give that away but um but yeah anyways let's get into it quick side note i've included down below an email sequencing template that you could use it's the one that i use to get 65 to 70 percent open rate now here's the thing um, please, 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 please only draw inspiration from this because if you're finding the leads the way I have taught you to, your, your emails are going to sound just like my emails and every single other person that uses the same templates emails. So yeah, just, you know, do something to stand out from the crowd. Like one of the phrases that I never use in any of my outreach is when you ask, when you tell them, oh, you're leaving money on the table, every single SMMA teacher, guru, whatever you want to call it out there uses that phrase, never use that because it's highly, highly saturated. Yeah, just don't tell anyone that they're leaving money on the table because honestly, like that's so overplayed and that's just going to get an automatic unsubscribe and undelete. I mean, not undelete, delete. So yeah, anyways, let's get into the video. First of all, after you have written your um, email templates, make sure you like, honestly, I cannot, oh, I need to say this again. You need to only draw inspiration from my template or any other template out there, because here's the thing, any parts that you modify will not have the same tone of voice as um, the parts that you just copied and pasted. So what it's going to end up being is like, it's going to read really, really awkwardly. And it's just going to seem super like just fake. And people wouldn't want to respond to that. I know I wouldn't if I was a business owner. So yeah, definitely only draw inspiration from that. In fact, I recommend you guys writing your email templates out from scratch. Not only does that, you know, um, practice your copywriting, but also even if they're bad, like they're worse than the template, it will still get better results than the template because every other person is gonna be using the same template. Now I'm just gonna to cut to a quick screen recording and show you guys how I set everything up on HubSpot and show you guys some of the results that I am getting with my current email um, outreach at the moment, just so that you guys know that I'm not lying to you when you know I say my emails have 65 to 70% open rate. But anyways, let's get into it. Three, two, one, cut. 
So guys, I'm just gonna uh, show you guys how exactly I set up my email sequencing. I'm gonna do this within HubSpot and also show you guys some of the stats that I've been getting with my email sequences. So if I just go on automation here um, and sequences, you'll see that I have two sequences active at the moment. Um, this is a one, this is like version one um, that I split tested. I just added a hundred um, contacts into there. And as you can see, open rate is 65% uh, and not even all of them has been enrolled. Um, not, not The sequence hasn't even finished for all of them just yet. Uh, about, uh, what's it, 65% to go in terms of enrollment. Now, as you can see, open rate is uh, pretty successful all around, all across the board. The click rate is pretty poor, I'm not going to lie. And the re uh, response rate is definitely appalling. But I know the reasons behind this. And it's because I got lazy with customizing each of the sequences. And honestly, customization and bring value to the prospect is key. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that in just a second. As you can see with my um, second sequence, that I'm just going to show you guys now. Um, I've only enrolled 20 contacts in there. And as you can see, the response rate is 10% so far and the open rate is 43. Um, honestly, for the first email, that is absolutely phenomenal. Um, like, yeah, just most copywriters out there for email marketing get between like, uh, I'd say like 10 to 30% open rate max. So yeah, definitely uh, be very meticulous about what kind of emails you're sending out there. Um, so yeah, so you would create the template for the emails. So you would literally open up a Word document uh, just like this one. And you would go on a new page and just be like email one, initial code, right? This is gonna be the email number one is gonna be the first email that they ever hear from you. So this needs to be the most powerful one. I cannot stress enough, um, in this email, you're gonna need to bring value to them straight away. So what I do is I do a quick audit um, of each of their like current Facebook ads or whatever, or base it off of the notes that I made when I created the contact in the first place. And I just give them a few pointers, you know, like what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. And um, the other, uh, last night actually I helped a business owner um, find out that their account actually got hacked and um, they were running a sunglasses ad, even though they were like a beard oil company, which is quite funny. Um, yeah, so random stuff like that. I got like, I was just DMing the owner like back and forth, uh, not DMing, sorry, emailing back and forth for like seven times. And I'm gonna go try to secure that meeting on Monday. Anyways, um, make sure to give value. Also, uh, I'm gonna give, uh, put a link down in the description below for like a template that I created for you guys. Please only draw inspiration from this. Do not copy it because I cannot stress enough. Uh, you know, like if a hundred people will reach out to me saying, oh yeah, you're leaving money on the table. Yes, I'll think I'm leaving money on the table, but I'll also be very, very skeptical of all of these people. Um, also maintain the tone of voice. So if you start it off super casually, don't suddenly be like, to whom it may concern, um, hello, sir, or madam, blah, blah. Like, I always just like to keep it casual and be like, hey, how's it going? You know, um, my name is Boyan and I do this and I've brought ridiculous return on ad spends before for clients, um, da, da, da. And then also remember you're selling the meeting, not the service. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind and also give value. Now to actually create the sequences, you would just go on sequences on HubSpot, let's say, and then create a new sequence. As you can see, there's already templates, but I started from scratch. So I just create, click create a new sequence, add, and then um, all of the emails here, right? Uh, I recommend personally having a four to five stage uh, email funnel, just because no way are they gonna respond to the first email, that's just not possible. Um, well, I mean, with my other sequence, the new one, the response rate is 10%, but um, yeah. That's just me. But anyways, um, so once you create that, remember the first email is all about just, you know, giving them some free value and seeing if, the, and asking, genuinely asking for the um, video conference. So ask for video conference. Now email two is gonna be a follow-up to the first cold, initial cold email. So this is gonna be the follow-up stage. So in this, you would write something like, um, 
you know, hey, I noticed you didn't reply to my last email. Uh, don't worry, like that's completely not your fault. I get you must have hundreds of digital marketers reaching out to you every single day. Uh, but you know, like I've achieved some phenomenal results and that I would like to discuss with you, blah, blah, um, stuff like that. And then just throw in a meeting link down um, at the end of the email, shoot that through. And then the third one, this is gonna be the more important one. Email number three is, uh, you can do it so that it's either ebook or case study. So right now I use sort of like a case study slash ebook. It's a case study of the past results, um, the case study from my, one of my contractors, but I've worded it in such a way where it's like a, almost like a guide on how we did that campaign successfully. Um, in that case study, we also got a 10.83 X return on investment in terms of ad spend for the client. So obviously like the numbers speak for themselves in that as well, but also really just do bring value to the um, customer. I mean, sorry, the cl uh, potential client, just because this, this is ultimately the one that they're most likely to respond to. And don't forget, obviously, to drop the meeting link down uh, in that email as well. <sighs> I know I'm speaking really fast, but it's just because I've been recording for a few hours now. So um, words are just kind of flowing out my mouth. But basically, um, if you guys don't have any case studies, just simply write an ebook, like 10, 12 pages long. It doesn't even have to be that long, to be honest. It could just be like five to six pages. Uh, just in detail, kind of convey that you know what you're talking about, but also make sure that it's actually valuable content. So don't hold back any like secret in-house strategies that you've learned from like um, some of the courses or whatever. Just literally dish it all out there. Like the thing is, if the business owner reads it and don't doesn't book the meeting with you, they're most likely not going to implement it themselves anyways, just because like, you know, some random guy told you to scale your ad spend like this if they're not willing to at least invest like half an hour of their time to speak to you they're probably not going to take the um the advice from the ebook that you sent them that seriously anyways but yeah just make sure that in this ebook or case study it brings tremendous value to the business owner now in the last deep um this is an optional one so uh optional you can send them a um, either Loom video audit. I'll show you guys how to do video audits in the future, um, just because that deserves a, a video in itself entirely. Or you can send them like a video testimony, testimonial from past clients. I don't have this stage at the moment in my email funnel just yet, but I will be implementing the Loom video audits for anyone that opens my email more than uh, three to four times. I think that would be highly, highly effective, uh, combined with cold calling, of course. So this is the last attempt. Now, what this is, this is literally like that plea for help. Like you've done all you can. So in this email, it, this, it would sound something like this, like, um, hey, Peter, uh, you know, like I haven't, I know you haven't replied to any of my previous emails, totally fine, this is the last time I will bother you because the last thing I want to do is just spam you every single day, right? Uh, so um, the thing is, I don't know if uh, it's good for us to work together, but you know, as I said previously, I would love to like hop on a call to see if it is. Uh, I'm gonna link my scheduler down below again, uh, just in case you wanted a meeting with me. Um, but I hope that my previous emails have shown you the importance of running paid traffic to your web store, blah, blah, blah. Just like stuff that is basically just saying goodbye in a very um, polite and um, asking way. Now, what tends to happen with the last email is that you would email something that to them and then maybe a few weeks down the line they'll actually come in and book a, book a meeting without even replying to you. Um, this email is literally just to be human and also have some sort of conclusion to this whole interaction. Now you would literally just create new item on here. Uh, I'm just gonna just add this for now uh, but basically you want to create one after the other and um, obviously do it in order. This is, I'm just doing this to show you. And you see, send email if no action within one day, two day. You can set this to whatever you want really. Um, if you want people to be enrolled longer into your sequence, you could um, do it uh, three or four. I wouldn't go past the three day mark to be honest, just because like, uh, you know, one, you want to be able to stay on top of mind um, as opposed to 
like just you know after i'd say about nine days they'll just forget the initial interaction which is why i set mine to two so yeah once you have the sequence you can click save and you can start enrolling contacts in so yeah i hope you guys have found this uh useful and i'm gonna cut back to the actual video now all right so now you know exactly how to sequence those emails here's the guidelines that i would recommend i wrote it the moon I just flopped. I would recommend you guys at least send out 20, enroll 20 contacts into the sequence every single day, along with stacking that with like LinkedIn outreach, Facebook DMs, um, Instagram DMs, all of that as well. You, This is my main source of outreach. However, I will be incorporating LinkedIn campaigns, Instagram, and also uh, Facebook DMs as well. And also Facebook groups is another good one. Once I implement that, I will also be doing a very precise guide on exactly how I achieve that for my agency. So yeah, definitely st uh, stick around and subscribe. If you guys found value in this video, even if it's an ounce, I would highly appreciate it if you guys drop a like. Any question you any questions you have for SMMA, drop it in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make a dedicated video to that, responding to the question, or if it's just like a really quick response um, that you need, just DM me on Instagram or drop it as a comment and I'll try to get back to it as soon as possible. The benefit of DMing me on Instagram is I'll be able to give you a voice note or like some sort of video. Um, that is customized to your question. That is the most effective way to reach me. So yeah, my Instagram is gonna be also linked down below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.